Too many conviction today is trust in trust. By that, what I mean is trust in your ability to build relationships, to build confidence in other people, because trust is the bedrock of every interconnection. Think about it in the political realm, uh, in the marketplace and in business, in all of your personal connections, trust is essential as the glue that holds you all together. And if you can't trust in your ability to build trust, then it's hard to get past first base. So here's some things I'm thinking about that help me shore up trust, both as the person who wants to be trustworthy and as, as, as someone who wants to put trust in others. Number one, accept that a lack of information can erode trust. We are living in a, in a world that likes snackable content. Um, rarely are people given all the information around projects and uh, assignments and um, ob obligations. And so, you know, the, the world thinks less is best. We're, we're like a low information diet and a lack of information can create the impression that someone is being untrustworthy, but really it's catering to our short attention spans. So I'm starting to ask more questions, be more curious, add more information to my understanding because it builds trust. Uh, number two, I'm actually trying to make sure that I have a framework of facts, verifiable information in, in the midst of what I'm hearing. Because if I don't have a first-hand experience with someone, I'm relying on other people's perceptions, I'm relying on innuendo and, and hearsay, and unless I can source the truth, then I'm really relying on other people's filters Whereas I want to get my own source material, if I can triangulate facts, it helps to shore up trust in the relationship. Thirdly, if there are problems in my connectedness with people, I want to use a slingshot rather than a machine gun, meaning I want to identify the singular concerns, the things that are really as specific as possible that I've lost trust around, rather than broadly criticize the whole situation or write the whole person off and think everything about them is untrustworthy. So I, I wanna be solutions focused around very narrow issues if I can help it. And fourthly, finally, I wanna engage in relationship. The more I get to know someone and they get to know me, the more we have a direct connectedness, the more I can seek their commitment around obligations and vice versa and we can agree on what expectations are, trust goes up. So there's my two-minute conviction, trust in trust, but it takes intent. Have a great week as you build more trust.